Hi everyone, Mark Kwok here. I'm still in Hong Kong, and I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I'm seeing a ton while I'm out here. And this is something I see also in the US as well, but it's about designer clothing, and particularly big logos and showy designer clothing. And by that I mean the Saint Laurent's, the Prada's, where people are blasting logos all over their shirts and their bags and so on. I have a couple thoughts on this. So let's talk about it. First off, I wanna say that I have nothing against designer brands. In fact, if anything, I own actually a lot of nice high-end designer clothing, accessories, so on, and I love it. And I, I think there's a good reason that they exist. It's a aspirational thing. You wanna feel like you earned this piece of clothing. It has a certain bar of quality. It's by a fashion designer that knows what they're talking about. Like this is why, like for instance, I have wanted, and I unfortunately still don't, but I have wanted a Tom Ford suit so bad. James Bond wears it, Harvey Specter wears it, Tom Ford wears it. It's like such a cool thing and I get it. And I don't blast anyone for wanting and wearing designer clothing. That being said, I think there's a big difference between designer clothing that's just like really high quality and looks great and has that keen designer eye versus clothing and accessories and so on that really just put the brand name at the forefront. It says Gucci, 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 right? That I feel like I have a little bit more problems with. Let's go into five main reasons why I think you should really avoid wearing these really, really, logo heavy designer clothing. So number one, I don't think a lot of people think about this often, but I believe that super logo-y things can age quite poorly. Right now it's super in because streetwear and a lot of the rappers and celebrities are kind of wearing this. But if you remember brands like Ed Hardy or Bond Dutch, I mean like at one point, maybe it was cool to have that logo, but the brand might suffer over time and you are now subject to suffering alongside with it, right? Number two, I, it makes me wonder when people are decked out in super logo-y things, like who are they really wearing the clothing for? I'm a huge proponent of wearing clothing for you so that you feel better, you feel more confident, you feel like your design and aesthetic is better. Whereas some others are looking for just simply approval from others. I love it when I have a designer piece of clothing on and no one ever would know. I know what's good and what's designery and what's on trend and what's quality, but others might not. All they see is a nice shirt. All they see is a nice pair of pants. And that is beautiful in my opinion. Number three, one thing about wearing these really high designer logos is that you're kind of either flaunting your wealth, because these are really expensive pieces usually, right? Like thousand dollar t-shirts or $5,000 jackets. If you have the money and you're wearing all this sort of stuff, what you're doing is you're kind of flaunting. Hey, letting everyone know I am wealthy. I can afford this. People, humility goes a long way and that is something that I, I'm, I'm not a fan of. And I think a lot of people would agree it's not the best showcase of your personality. Now the flip side is not flaunting wealth, but a lot of people actually are also feigning wealth by wearing these sort of things. They're actually, they can't afford it. They're buying it on credit or it's a huge portion of their paycheck and it's just not a good financial decision. Yet they wanna show, hey, I can't afford this guys. I have the money and I need to let you know that I have the money. And I think that's also potentially problem problematic. Fourth, I think that wearing designer clothing with more subtle branding or, you know, I, I think it still makes you feel just as badass. There is a really nice charm and confidence you get when you know hey, I'm wearing a Gucci pair of shoes. That, that, that's a real thing. You still get that same feeling without having to deal with everything I just mentioned, right? Like the flaunting of your wealth. And lastly, I wanna say that when you wear logos like crazy, it's kind of actually, you're trying to take the easy way out when it comes to fashion and style. It's easy to look at a designer brand as, hey, they know what fashion's about. They're at the bleeding edge of fashion and I wanna showcase that I have style and I have fashion too. So. Why don't I just paste on Prada, 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 Prada all over the place and people will understand, hey, I fashion too. You may not know anything about fashion. You may not know anything about your own style. You haven't discovered kind of what fits you, what is good for your body type, what material works with your skin and all that sort of stuff. This is valuable stuff that I think, you know, you can learn. And I do think overall it pays dividends. I think there's a confidence that kind of comes from within and there's all these sort of benefits that you get by wearing clothing 
that you know more about. I think taking a more researched approach, even if you land at the same brands, and I think it would be better. So again, I'm not saying that logos are bad. I'm, I'm literally wearing a logo right now, but I believe in keeping it subtle. I believe in not showcasing it. It'd be nice if people can kind of come up to you and say, hey, is that a Brunello Cuccinelli tie? Hey, is that a Todd's pair of shoes? Like that's better, I think, than, hey, telling everyone, hey, I'm wearing Gucci, guys. You better know I'm wearing Gucci. This is my thought. Maybe I'll get some flack for it. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. But I want to give this little quick rant because I see it all over the place. It just, I don't know, it makes me feel a certain way. And I wish people had a little bit more style consciousness. And All right, guys, there's my thoughts. Thanks so much for listening to it all. I'm Mark Kwok. I will see you guys on the next one.